Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. Actions speak louder than words. What people do is more important than what they say. I've been talking to my co-worker about helping with the project, but I haven't seen any action from him yet. You know what they say, actions speak louder than words. Maybe he's just not as committed as he claims. I'm beginning to think so. He always agrees to contribute, but when it comes down to it, he's nowhere to be found. It can be frustrating when people make promises they don't keep. Have you tried talking to him about it directly? I'm considering it, but I don't want to come across as too confrontational. It's important to address the issue. You can express your concerns and ask for a clear plan or timeline. You're right. It's just that I value reliability, and it's a crucial project for our team. Trust is earned through actions, not just words. Hopefully, your conversation will lead to better collaboration. I hope so. I want this project to be successful, and I can't do it alone. You're not asking for too much. Everyone should contribute if they've committed to it. Just remember, actions will reveal the truth. I'm tired. Hey, you seem a bit out of it today. What's going on? Ugh, I'm just so tired. I couldn't sleep well last night, and work has been non-stop. I can see it in your eyes. You look drained. Maybe you should take a break. I wish I could, but I have a deadline to meet by the end of the day. Well, how about a quick coffee? It might give you a little energy boost. Coffee does sound tempting right now. Let's grab one. I'll get you a strong one. Anything else you want with it? A croissant would be great. Thanks for looking out for me. So, what's been keeping you so busy at work lately? We're launching a new project, and the workload has been insane. I barely have time to breathe. That sounds tough. Remember, it's okay to take short breaks to recharge, even during hectic times. You're right. I need to find a balance. Thanks for the coffee and the reminder. Where are you from? Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Where are you from? Oh, I just moved here recently. I'm originally from New York. New York. That's pretty cool. What brought you to this town? Well, I got a job offer here, so I decided to make the move. It's been quite an adjustment, though. I can imagine. What do you think of the area so far? It's definitely different from the hustle and bustle of New York City, but I'm starting to like it. People here are so friendly, and there's a certain charm to the slower pace of life. Yeah. It's a quieter place for sure. Have you had a chance to explore the town yet? Not much, to be honest. I've been busy settling into my new place and getting used to the new job. But I'm looking forward to checking out some local spots soon. Well, if you ever need recommendations or someone to show you around, feel free to ask. We've got some hidden gems here. Thanks, that's really kind of you. I might take you up on that offer sometime. No problem at all. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. 
It's nice to meet friendly faces like yours. Keep up, maintain or stay at the same level. It's been a while since we last met. How's your new job going? It's been a whirlwind, but I'm trying my best to keep up. The learning curve has been steep. I understand. It can be challenging to keep up with new responsibilities and expectations in a new role. Yeah, I've had to put in some extra hours to keep up with the workload. But it's a great opportunity, so I'm not complaining. That's the spirit. You have the determination to keep up, and it'll pay off in the long run. Thanks for the encouragement. How about you? How's your project going? It's moving along, but we've had some unexpected setbacks. It's been a struggle to keep up with the timeline. I see. Sometimes, it's hard to keep up with deadlines when unexpected issues arise. Exactly. But we're doing our best to keep up the quality of the work despite the delays. Good to hear that you're committed to keeping up the standards. Sometimes, that's more important than sticking to a strict schedule. You're absolutely right. Quality is key, and we'll do whatever it takes to keep up those standards, even if it means adjusting the timeline. Walking on eggshells, being very careful and cautious in a situation to avoid upsetting someone or causing conflict. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, um, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I don't want to upset you, but it's been on my mind. Oh, okay. What's up? Well, you know, I've noticed you've been working really long hours lately, and I'm concerned about your health. I mean, I don't want to intrude but I care about you. Thanks for your concern. Yeah, things have been crazy at work. It's not easy, but I've got bills to pay, you know. I totally get that, and I don't want to pressure you, but I'm just worried it's taking a toll on you. Have you considered talking to your boss about your workload? It's complicated. I've thought about it, but it's not the best time for that conversation, you know. I don't want to rock the boat. I understand. I just want you to be okay. If you ever need to talk or figure out a plan, I'm here for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's just see how things go. And maybe, if things get too rough, I'll consider talking to my boss. All right, we'll take it one step at a time. Just know I'm here to support you. Be like a neighbor, don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor. The last straw, the final, intolerable incident that leads to a decision or action. I heard you finally quit your job. What happened? Yeah, I had too. It was just the last straw in a long line of issues at that place. The last straw? What pushed you over the edge? Well, the constant overtime with no compensation was bad enough. But the final straw was when they started micromanaging every little thing I did. That does sound frustrating. Did you talk to your boss about it? I did, but it didn't change anything. The company culture had become toxic, and I needed a healthier work environment. I can understand why you left then. Have you started looking for a new job? Yeah, I'm already sending out applications. I don't want to stay unemployed for long, but I couldn't take it there any longer. I hope you find something better soon. No one should have to deal with such a toxic workplace. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm determined to find a job where I'm valued.
and can grow without dealing with the last straw breaking my back. What do you think? So, I've been thinking about redecorating the living room. I want to give it a fresh look. That's a great idea. What do you have in mind? Well, I was considering a more minimalist design with neutral colors. I think it'll make the space feel more open and calming. Hmm, that could work really well. But have you thought about adding some accent pieces to prevent it from looking too bland? That's a good point. I was thinking of adding some colorful throw pillows and maybe a piece of artwork as a focal point. What do you think? Sounds like a good balance. It'll add some personality to the room without overwhelming it. What about the furniture? I'm planning to keep the existing furniture, but maybe invest in a new coffee table to match the new style. Makes sense. Have you started shopping for ideas? Not yet. But I'm excited to start. Do you want to come with me this weekend to check out some options? Absolutely. I'd love to help you pick out some pieces. What do you think about visiting that furniture store downtown? That sounds perfect. Thanks for your input and offering to come along. It'll be fun. Hit the nail on the head. To describe something precisely and accurately. Feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. You know, I was trying to figure out what's been bothering me, and then John, out of the blue, said something that hit the nail on the head. Really? What did he say? He pointed out that I've been overworking and not taking any time for myself, and that's why I've been so stressed and irritable. Well, he's absolutely right. It sounds like he really hit the nail on the head with that observation. Yeah, it was like a wake up call. I didn't even realize I was neglecting self care. Sometimes, it takes an outsider's perspective to see what we can't see ourselves. It's great that he pointed it out. It is. I'm grateful for his honesty, even though it was tough to hear. And now that you know, what's your plan? How will you address this? I'm going to start by taking some time off to recharge, maybe go for a weekend getaway. Then I'll work on establishing a better work-life balance. That sounds like a solid plan. Remember, it's essential to take care of yourself. John really hit the nail on the head, and I'm glad you're taking action. Thanks for the support. I'll make sure I don't let this happen again. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Put off, delay, or postpone. Did you hear about the team meeting scheduled for tomorrow? Yeah, I did. I'm a bit concerned because I have a doctor's appointment at the same time. That's unfortunate. Can you reschedule the appointment or is it something urgent? I wish I could, but it's been hard to get an appointment with this specialist. I've been waiting for weeks. I can't put it off any longer. I understand. Maybe you can talk to your manager and see if they can move the meeting to a different time. I thought about that, but it's a crucial meeting with the client. It would be unfair to ask the team to put it off, especially since we've been working on this project for so long. That's true. In that case, could you ask a colleague to fill you in on the meeting details or provide you with notes? Good idea. I'll reach out to Jane.
She's usually good at taking detailed notes. It's not ideal, but it might be the best solution, since I can't put off the doctor's appointment. Sounds like a plan. Let's hope Jane can help you catch up on what you miss at the meeting. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure. About what? Everything, really. Life, career, relationships, you name it. It's all so uncertain. Yeah, I get what you mean. Sometimes, I feel the same way. It's like we're all just trying to figure it out as we go along. Exactly. It's like there's no guidebook for this stuff. Well, you know, that's what makes life interesting, right? The unpredictability of it all. True, I guess. But it can also be pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah, I won't deny that. But think about it this way. Uncertainty also opens up opportunities for growth and adventure. It's a chance to discover new things about yourself. You're right. I guess I need to embrace the unknown a bit more and see where it takes me. That's the spirit. Life's an ongoing journey and we're all just navigating through it together one, I'm not sure, at a time. Thanks for the pep talk. I needed that reminder. Anytime. We're all in this together. Can you repeat that? So, I was saying, I've been really into hiking lately, and I just did this incredible trail last weekend. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can you repeat that? I didn't catch which trail you mentioned. Sure thing. I hiked the Eagle Ridge Trail. It's up in the mountains, and the views were breathtaking. Eagle Ridge Trail, got it. What made it so special? Well, the trail winds through a dense forest, and when you finally reach the summit, there's this panoramic view of the entire valley. It's like being on top of the world. Wow, that sounds amazing. I've been wanting to get into hiking, but I'm not sure where to start. It's easier than you think. You can begin with some beginner-friendly trails and work your way up. I'd be happy to take you on a hike sometime if you're interested. That sounds great, thanks. I'll definitely take you up on that offer. Can you recommend any easy trails for beginners? Absolutely. I can give you a list and some tips to get started. Just let me know when you're ready. Wake up, stop sleeping and become conscious. Good morning. You look well rested. What time did you wake up today? Hey there. I actually woke up a little earlier than usual, around 6.30. How about you? I woke up at 7 o'clock. I've been trying to wake up earlier to start my day more productively. That's a great habit. I used to wake up late, but I realized I was wasting a lot of time in the morning. Exactly. It's amazing how much you can accomplish when you wake up with a plan. Speaking of waking up, have you heard about the new alarm clock app that makes you solve math problems to wake up? Yes, I've heard of it. It's a clever way to make sure you fully wake up and don't go back to sleep. I've been using it for a week, and it's been effective in making me wake up and stay awake. That's great. I might give it a try to improve my wake up routine. It's worth a shot. So, what's on your agenda for the day after waking up early?
Cut down, reduce the amount of something. Rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say, yeah. You know, I've been trying to cut down on caffeine lately. Oh, really? Any particular reason for wanting to cut it down? Well, I've noticed that I've been having trouble sleeping, and I think my caffeine intake might be to blame. That makes sense. It can be hard to relax if you're consuming too much caffeine. How's it going so far? It's a bit of a challenge, especially in the mornings, but I've switched to decaf coffee and reduced my soda intake. Good for you. Cutting down gradually can make it easier to adjust. Yes, I didn't want to go cold turkey. The goal is to cut down on caffeine, not eliminate it entirely. Moderation is key. Have you noticed any improvements in your sleep? A little bit. I still have the occasional sleepless night, but it's getting better. Keep it up, and your body will likely adjust over time. Cutting down on caffeine is a step in the right direction for better sleep. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm determined to continue with this and hopefully get back to a more regular sleep pattern. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I built all never captain space. Call off, cancel an event or arrangement. Hey. Did you hear that they had to call off the company picnic this weekend? Yeah, I heard about it. What happened? The weather forecast is pretty grim, and the park is likely to be a mud pit. They decided to call it off to avoid a complete washout. Bummer. I was looking forward to it. Do you know if they're rescheduling it? They're thinking about it. They might call a meeting next week to discuss an alternative date and location. I hope they can find a suitable replacement because I was really excited to go this year. Me too. The picnic is always a great opportunity for everyone to relax and socialize outside of work. Well, let's keep an eye out for updates. If they reschedule it, we'll need to mark it on our calendars. Definitely. And if not, we can always plan something else for the weekend. True. We could organize a little get together of our own if the picnic doesn't happen. Sounds like a plan. Let's see what the company decides. And we'll go from there. Let the cat out of the bag to reveal a secret. You won't believe what happened last night. I accidentally let the cat out of the bag. Seriously, what did you do? I was at Sarah's surprise birthday party, and I didn't realize it was a surprise. So, I casually mentioned it to her earlier in the day. Oh no, that's a big oops. What was her reaction? She was pretty disappointed and a little upset. Understandably, I felt terrible. I can imagine. Those surprise parties are always so much fun, and it's disappointing when the secret is revealed. I know, I wish I could take it back. It's just so awkward now. Well, all you can do is apologize and make it up to her. Maybe organize another surprise for her soon. That's a great idea. I'll definitely do that. Lesson learned, never let the cat out of the bag, especially when it comes to surprises. Haha, <laughs> yeah, discretion is key when it comes to secrets and surprises. I'm sure she'll appreciate your effort to make it up to her. I hope so. Thanks for the advice. I'll start planning that do-over surprise right away.
Go on, continue or proceed. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, I heard you started a new job. How's it going? It's been a great experience so far. I started about a month ago, and I'm really excited about the projects I'm working on. How about you? How's your job search going? Well, I had a few interviews, but nothing has panned out yet. I'm not giving up, though. I'll keep applying and going on interviews until I find the right fit. That's the spirit. Don't get discouraged. The job market can be tough, but the right opportunity will come along. I appreciate your encouragement. I won't let the rejections get to me. I'll just go on with my search. That's the right attitude. In the meantime, you could consider taking some online courses to expand your skill set. It might help you go on a different career path. That's a good idea. I've been thinking about that. I'll explore some courses to keep improving while I go on with my job search. Keep your chin up and remember that persistence pays off. You'll go on to find a job that's the perfect fit for you. Me a favor. Don't treat me like a neighbor. Don't need the different flavors of your An arm and a leg, something that is very expensive. Have you seen the price of that new smartphone? It costs an arm and a leg. I know, right? It's outrageous. I can't believe how expensive gadgets have become. I've been wanting to upgrade, but I just can't justify spending that much. It's not just the phones, it's everything these days. Even a cup of coffee at the fancy cafe near work costs an arm and a leg. Tell me about it. It feels like we have to empty our wallets for even the simplest pleasures. It's frustrating. I remember when going out for a nice dinner didn't mean giving up an arm and a leg. Maybe we should start looking for alternatives. Finding quality without paying a fortune is possible. You're right. We don't need to sacrifice our limbs for a bit of luxury. Let's start exploring more budget-friendly options and enjoy the little things without breaking the bank. Oh, greed. We can definitely find ways to live well without giving up our arms and legs. It's a piece of cake. I heard you aced that difficult exam. How did you manage that? Well, it was a piece of cake, actually. Really? It seemed so challenging to me. What was your secret? Honestly, I just stayed organized and studied consistently throughout the semester. I also used flashcards to help memorize key concepts. That sounds like a solid strategy. I wish I could make it look so easy. It's all about finding the right study methods that work for you. Once you do that, even the toughest subjects can feel like a piece of cake. I'll have to give your approach a try next time. Thanks for the advice. No problem. And remember, it's not about making it look easy. It's about finding the methods that make it manageable and less daunting. You're right. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks again, and congrats on your excellent score. Thanks. I'm always here if you need any study tips. You've got this. Hang out, spend time with friends.
Hey, what are your plans for the weekend? I was thinking of hanging out with some friends on Saturday. How about you? Sounds fun. I'd love to hang out with you all. What's the plan? We're meeting at the park around noon, and then we'll decide what to do from there. Maybe a picnic or some games. That sounds like a great way to hang out and enjoy the nice weather. Yeah, we've been wanting to catch up and just hang out for a while now. It'll be a good opportunity to do that. Count me in. I'll bring some snacks and drinks for the picnic. Awesome. It's going to be a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to hanging out with everyone. Me too. It's been too long since we've all had a chance to hang out together. Well, I'm glad we're making it happen. It's going to be a memorable day of hanging out and having fun. Absolutely. I can't wait for the weekend to arrive. It's going to be a great time to hang out with friends and relax. A bitter pill to swallow, something unpleasant but necessary to accept. I got the news today. I didn't get that promotion I've been working so hard for. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's a bitter pill to swallow, especially after all the effort you put in. Yeah, I thought I had a good chance, but they chose someone else. I can't help but feel disappointed. It's completely natural to feel that way. Rejection can be tough. And it's okay to take some time to process it. It's just frustrating because I thought I had everything it took to get that position. Now, I'm not sure what my next move should be. Well, remember, a bitter pill to swallow doesn't mean it's the end. Maybe this is an opportunity to explore other avenues and discover something even better. You're right. I shouldn't let this get me down. I'll regroup, learn from the experience, and keep moving forward. That's the spirit. You've got the skills and determination, and you never know what opportunities may arise in the future. Thanks for being so supportive. I appreciate it. Anytime. We all face bitter pills in life, but they can also be a source of growth and resilience. You've got this. Make a long story short, to summarize a lengthy explanation. How was your weekend trip to the mountains? It was incredible. We hiked enjoyed the views, and even encountered some wildlife. Sounds like you had quite an adventure. Tell me more. Well, we started early on Saturday, hiked all day, and then set up camp near a beautiful lake. That sounds amazing. Anything unusual happen? Yeah, on Sunday morning, we woke up to find a bear near our campsite. We had to slowly back away and watch from a distance. Whoa, that must have been scary. It was, but it eventually wandered off. Long story short, we packed up and hiked back down, making it home safely. I'm glad you're okay. You really know how to make a long story short. Haha, <laughs> well, I could go on for hours about it, but I know you've got a busy day. Thanks for sharing the highlights. I'd love to hear more about it sometime. Sure thing. I've got plenty of stories from the trip to share. By the book, to do something strictly according to the rules or guidelines.
You know, I've been working on this project, and I'm determined to do it all by the book. That's a good approach. Following the established procedures can lead to a successful outcome. Absolutely. I've seen too many projects go awry because people cut corners. It's true. Going by the book ensures everything is done correctly and minimizes risks. It can be a bit time consuming, but it's worth it in the long run. Quality over shortcuts, right? You've got the right mindset. Staying by the book can also help you maintain your credibility. And it sets a standard for the team. When we follow the rules, everyone knows what's expected. I couldn't agree more. It promotes consistency and professionalism. Plus, it's a safety net. If anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to the procedures. It's like having a roadmap. It keeps you on track even when things get complicated. So, I'm sticking by the book on this one. No shortcuts or improvisations. It's the best way to guarantee success. I commend your commitment to doing things right. By the book is the way to go. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.